Good day Taurus and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy and this is your weekly reading for July 3rd to the 9th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Nine of clubs. Ten of diamonds. Three of clubs. Nine of spades. Well, uh, this week you're going to be dealing with the death of something. This can be the death of a person, but normally this, you know, regularly, it's the death of something, um, an idea, a relationship, a job, you know, something's coming to an end. And uh, it's caused you fear and worry and nightmares and just all around problems. So, I mean, even though death is sad, usually, you know, any the death of anything is, is a sad moment, uh, it's also not bad because sometimes it relieves you of other things that have been uh, wearing down on you. And this could be the death of a few things, possibly, uh, going throughout the week. So, prepare for that, you know. Um, it's going to be hard or whatever, but it will also uh, relieve you of a lot of other things that whatever it was, was causing. At the beginning of the week, uh, the struggle is not over. Whatever struggles you're going through right now, you, you must be going through a struggle. And it's probably been going on for a, at least a couple of weeks by now. And um, you're strong, so don't give up. Don't give into the struggle. Don't be like, you know... I give up. I'm going to give myself into the struggle and let let it take over. Don't keep keep fighting the struggle. You're strong enough to fight it. Uh, it will come to an end soon. Whichever whatever struggle this is that you're you're fighting right now, um, and it's probably been for a while now that you've been fighting this. Uh, in the middle of the week, uh, you're going to be able to help make it rain, um, or you're going to be able to make it rain. But you need to leave your comfort zone. Uh, you need to go through some unpleasantness to get to success. And um, this unpleasantness could very well be the death of something. Uh, perhaps you got to let something die in order for you to make it rain and be successful. Uh, so, yeah, leave that comfort zone, whatever comfort zone you're in right now. It can be anything, really. And um, oh, please don't comment that you like your comfort zone because everybody likes their comfort zone. That's why it's called the comfort zone. I had somebody actually comment that they like their comfort zone and they don't want to leave it. And it's like, okay, well, fine. Then don't leave your comfort zone and, you know, don't have success and make it rain. Instead, just stay there in your comfort zone and be comfortable. But uh, anyway... At the end of the week, well, absolute success. Uh, fame and fortune is yours. Uh, this card trumps all these cards. So um, no matter what, the struggle will come to an end, and you will fight it. You won't give in to it. Uh, you will most likely make it rain, uh, you know, unless you're one of those people that love their comfort zone and don't ever, ever want to leave it. And, um, yeah, at the end of the week, you're going to have fame and fortune, like, you know, you're going to be very popular, attractive, and all that good stuff, you know, all that stuff that fame brings you. It doesn't mean that you're going to be, like, on the Grammy Awards or some shit or whatever awards there are nowadays. Uh, it just means that you're going to be, you know, people are going to look up to you and whatnot. And fortune, you're just going to be fortunate, uh, most likely in money, of course, because it's here. And uh, just other abundance of love and, and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is a great reading, honestly. Um, I, I mean, you got the death of something, so that's going to be a little difficult, but, and then you got the struggle that you're dealing with. Um, but this struggle could very well have something to do with money. And, uh, because you leave your comfort zone in the middle of the week, that's going to help, you know, bring upon, you know, this, the absolute success. 
So just, you know, keep your head up, stay strong, uh, keep moving forward, uh, understand that things things die in our lives, things go away, that's, that's life, that's how it works, but they always lead us to better things, you know, so let's see what the tarot cards have to say, universe speak, spirit's guide, what needs to be known, what lessons need to be learned, the knight of wands so from what i get from the knight of wands is this is that you need you need to look onto yourself and really understand yourself more and uh leap forward into that into knowing yourself and understand that things are going to be unpleasant you're going to end up you know uh they're not going to always go great you know but they can lead to better things uh that's how i'm reading this with these other cards is that you need to just look on look at you know look into yourself and really be honest with yourself about yourself at this point in time and uh and that might be the comfort zone that you need to leave is perhaps there's some things that you need to learn about yourself that you've been in denial over and it's time for you to take that leap and go through that unpleasantness of learning things about yourself that you didn't really see before <clears throat> and understand that this will lead to something good this will lead to absolute success but it will also be a hard thing to go through it's hard when we have to admit to ourselves uh different things so uh there you go i hope this resonated if it did hit that like button and if you would please comment share and subscribe i hope to see you back here next week and until then stay safe stay mindful and stay healthy